TrueBeer.com. We're hanging out with Claire Kramer. Yay! <laughs> how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? We're doing a lot better now. <laughs> yeah, now it's later in the day, drinking some water, getting, uh, getting things moving around. <laughs> I almost said, put these back on. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a long night. Yes. So, um, real quick, I want to talk to you. Of course, um, a predominant role that got a lot of attention yes. was work in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yes, that's played true. Glory in the fourth season. Fifth. Fifth, that's right. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> <laughs> you were the hottest evil villain ever in the world, though. I Thank can't you. Say that. Thank you. Yes, uh, she was. She was quite fashionable and quite, uh, quite her own sort of personality. So she's a lot of fun to play. Yeah, very interesting. You know, second half of your personality, which was, you know, male. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that I'm came okay as a shock it. to me. Came as a shock to me as well. You know. <laughs> Oh, did they not tell you what was going on with that? Oh, no. We would just find stuff out as we read, you know? So <laughs> So when they finally uh, showed that, though, like, just out of uh, the Buffy fan inside me, when they finally showed that, did, were you, were you just like, like, what? Yeah, it was just kind of like, um, okay, well, art clearly is not imitating life here, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. But, you know, it was a good, it was a little twist. I'm always one for surprising the audience and whatnot, so. Now, um, I understand, uh, you got the acting bug really, really young, and when you were 14, you were cast as the Wendy's girl? That's true, that's true. I grew up in Columbus, Ohio, which is the headquarters for Wendy's fast food, and so yeah, I was portraying the Wendy girl for a while. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, isn't that funny? I auditioned for it, but for some reason they turned me down. It, was the, it must have been the beard. Maybe. Yeah. It's hard to be taken seriously at the age of 14 with a beard, so. Yeah, yeah. Like, like this one. <laughs> I mean, I could hang my glasses on it. Oh no, there's there's a guy here with a beard. Oh, he, I've seen him. Yeah, and he he was. Um, I was telling him about your organization, and he's like, oh. "Is his beard as long as mine?" And I'm like, "Dude, chill. It's, it's different. It's okay? The, okay? It's the it's the idea it's not of the size that counts. Yeah, that's yeah. right. It's how you use it. Wrap life by the it's beard. It's the quality. Yes. yes. Like this is a quality. Exactly. Beard. We all understand that. Yes. All right, so some of the things we're going to go over here. So you went to uh, the, t the Tisch School of Arts. I went to NYU, Tisch School of the Arts. Yep, that's true. That's a very prestigious school, and you did a lot of theater as well. I did, I did. I graduated, uh, um, I'll even take it up a level. I graduated three years from Tisch oh, with wow. my BFA, um, double major in psychology. And uh, yeah, wow. then once I graduated, I stayed in New York, did theater, and... Um, you know. Your prize role is Helen Keller. I uh, did. Sean yes, I did a uh, tour of Helen Keller. That was really a challenging role, really interesting though, and I often wish I had the opportunity. Much like Lori, Helen was very dynamic, and yeah. so I really liked, I mean really, you know, they both had strong, huge personalities. That's the type of role I like. So. Now, when it comes to, uh, let me see here, what's the right way to put this? Um, like theater, like do you have more of a heart for theater than you did for television and film? Because I know you were heavily involved in documentary a few years back. Yes, They got yes. a lot of critical acclaim. Yes, I mean theater and TV, they're, it's very, very different genres. And I, I love equally, you know, both obviously with TV you can affect a much broader audience, you know. If someone doesn't have to come and physically sit in a seat in front of you to be affected by what you're doing. That's the beauty of the media. And, uh, you know, that's something that, you know, a lot of people I have found that come from the theater kind of overlook that positive aspect of doing TV and film. To me, I, I, you know, that's a very important component to everything. Oh, yeah. um, as far as theater, I absolutely love theater. I would love, I love live performance. It's like the actual high of acting. You know, when you get to get on that roller coaster, and if you're doing a good performance, you just you know ride it out for Act One, Act Two, and you know, it's there's a thrill. There's nothing like it. So now, um, why don't you tell us about the documentary? Well, a couple of years uh, ago, I got involved with the documentary Tyson, which is obviously about Mike Tyson, the boxer. We co-produced it with Yari Film Group, um, who, as I'm sure you guys know, produced Crash and um, several other really good films. Um, <laughs> anyway, it, it's a really interesting snapshot of Mike Tyson's life, and I encourage everyone to go see it because he's not the man that he's often portrayed to be by the media. He has a lot of humility. Um, you can also put it in your TiVo, it's been on Oprah twice, and he's, now I believe he has a reality series coming out on a &E. either a reality series or like a six part TV series, you know, about his life coming out as well, so, he's a really interesting guy. 
Cool. Well, so everyone at home checking this out, check out everything that yes. Claire has been involved in. I strongly recommend it because she's a very, very stunning actress. If you haven't seen Buffy, of course, check out everything Buffy. There's a few other people here from that show. We might get to talk to them. Um, so thank you very much. You want any, yeah. any, any words in closing? Or? No, hey, thanks a lot. I, I love talking to you guys and, and you know, take care. <laughs>